Well, it's the big one on Saturday. The 116th Cat Grizz game will be played at Washington Grizzly Stadium in Missoula. Jay Sanderson and Dan Davies with you. And Dan, Montana State going into this, looking to go out with a bang, trying to beat the rival, and trying to keep them out of the playoffs. Well, it doesn't take much to get you fired up for this game. And uh, the, the coaches that have been around it before have, uh, you know, have lived it and uh, understand what it is. The coaches that haven't, and the players that haven't, uh, you, can't, you, don't, you can't describe it enough to the magnitude that it really is until it actually occurs. So, um, like over the years, there's been coaches that come in and I've got coached with and stuff, and they talk about different rivalries. And after this game, they say, yeah, this is the real deal. Well, Montana State goes into the game with some good momentum. Montana goes in with some negative momentum. The Bobcats winners last Saturday over UC Davis. Montana losing on the road to Northern Colorado. So the Bobcats go into this game particularly with some offensive momentum. Five scores last week, three touchdowns, two field goals, and more importantly, the Cats didn't turn the ball over. No, and that was the huge difference. Uh, we've talked about it all year on how important it is to take care of the football. And sure enough, the Bobcats took care of the football and they got the win. There's no doubt how important that element of the football game is. But um, the Bobcats do have some one man going on. They played good on defense, the special teams, all three came to together last week against uh, UC Davis and, and have momentum going into the game. Defensively, the Bobcats took away the ball. They got a turnover for the first time in four games. They also limited UC Davis. They have a potent running game, and I thought Montana State really did a nice job in limiting what UC Davis wanted to do and take away their best assets. Yeah, they, they came, came in to that game uh, last week with UC Davis with a renewed energy and after suffering the loss, but you know, the week before, they seemed uh, rejuvenated, uh, they tackled well, uh, they covered their seams, they made the run fits, and uh, they, they really, uh, really improved from that week to this last week. And Montana State will take on a Montana team that likes to go fast on offense. Grizzly head coach Bob Stitt has said many times he wants his offense to get 90 to 100 snaps per game. And so this will be a test for the defense. They faced a challenge like this a couple of times. Jeff Choate saying on Tuesday night at Cat Chat that Montana's offense, to him, most resembles what Bob, the Bobcats saw in Northern Arizona. Yeah, they want to play fast, get a lot of plays in, and the fact that the Bobcats are getting some guys back a little bit. Tucker Yates back there in the defensive line. Uh, Brandon Ayashe getting some more turns in there. They're going to be able to roll some guys in there and stay fresh. Uh, they, they got some of that depth back. Dylan Mahoney back on offense. Uh, this is the time the Bobcats are as probably as good at in ter terms of strength and depth wise that they've been uh, since the beginning of the year. And Montana's defense will pose a unique challenge to the Bobcats as well. They run kind of a unique front. There will be times where all 11 men on the defense will be in a two point stance. They all come up to the line of scrimmage and then it's sometimes you just have to make a read as to who's going to blitz, who's going to drop in coverage. So for a freshman quarterback in Chris Murray, it'll be an interesting game to see how he makes his reads. Well, they try to confuse you. There's no doubt about that. You know, where, where's the pressure coming from? They might not bring any pressure from one side at all and bring it all from the other side. It's a real task and a challenge for a young quarterback to try to cipher, decipher through that. But last week, Northern Colorado was able to run the football on them right up the middle and, and uh, threw the ball well. And their strategy was to keep the ball, keep the ball away from that, the, the Grizzly offense. And they were successful doing that. And I think the Bobcats will watch that film and, and try to pattern uh, their game plan after that as well. It's the 116th Cat Grizz game Saturday at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Kickoff at high noon. Dan and I will have the broadcast on the Bobcat Radio Network starting at 11 a.m. We'll talk to you then. Reporting for MSUBobcats.com with Dan Davies, I'm Jay Sanderson.